All hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing the top 10 best men's fragrances for beginners. Look, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, but I wanted to wait to the top of the year, and now we're here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it and make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I am attaching a giveaway to this video as well and I wouldn't want you to miss it. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Now I wanted to kick this list off with a fragrance that's safe and not too loud and one I tend to get good performance with. That fragrance comes from Coach and it's Coach for Men. Coach for Men is listed as a refined, masculine, cool, refreshing fragrance for men. Coach for Men is a fresh green fragrance with spicy cardamom and woody flair. Next on my list is a staple fragrance in any collection in my personal opinion. I'm sure not everyone agrees with me on this one, but I personally believe this one should be in every man's collection for a number of reasons. The fragrance I'm talking about hails from Burberry and it's none other than Burberry Touch. Now Burberry Touch is no stranger to my channel, I just haven't gotten around to doing a full review yet, but it has made its way on a number of lists including my top 10 for life list and yes, this this one is a lifer for me and if you're into fragrances or starting to get into fragrances this is one that I think you should grab. I think Burberry said it best, Burberry Touch is a wearable fragrance that's welcoming and both rich in contrast. Versace Dylan Blue takes the next spot. It's a fresh, modern, masculine take on aquatic, and trust me, it works well. They also released a Versace Dylan Blue for women, and I like both of them. Obviously, I like them both for separate reasons, but they are both great fragrances. Versace Dylan Blue has everything you need from bergamot to tonka bean, and definitely one I think a beginner fraghead could get on board with. Next up, I have a fragrance I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, and it comes from Mont Blanc, that fancy pen company. No, it's not that one. The fragrance I'm referencing is Mont Blanc Legend Intense. To me, Legend Intense has some backbone and depth, and it also adds a level of complexity to a beginner's fragrance collection. And despite adding that complexity, it's still very easy to wear. I gave it praise a while ago when I did the official review, and I'm recommending it now. This one is a legend in the game. Speaking of depth and complexity, One Million Lucky takes the next spot. One Million Lucky is a compliment monster. It's relatively new and it can be found online for a great price. Your key notes in One Million Lucky are cedar, hazelnut, and green plum. It's sensual and easy to wear and yet another one I believe a beginner would enjoy wearing. And speaking of lucky, one of you in YouTube land will get lucky. Back in November, foreverlux.com hit me up and said, Big Beard B, we want to do a giveaway for your subscribers. But I personally believe that at the top of the year, new year, new you will be a great way to start it off. This will be a great way for you to shop their site. One lucky winner is going to win $250 shopping spree on me courtesy of foreverlux.com. You can use that $250 to go towards the niece fragrance of your choice. You know that one that you've been wanting or you can use that money to start, build, or revamp your fragrance collection. More details to come on the giveaway but in the meantime, let's get back to this list. Sean John Unforgivable is another one that made my 10 for life video and I also believe that this one would do wonders for a fragrance beginner. Unforgivable is about 13 years old but I believe it's still relevant today. Unforgivable is defined as a refreshing scent that builds up with luxury and mature woods. It has notes of Italian bergamot, sparkling champagne, basil, sandalwood, and sexy tonka bean. And if you like sexy then I would say Hugo Boss's The Scent is one that needs to make its way into your beginner collection. Hugo Boss's scent is depicted as a seductive, sexy, and slightly irresistible fragrance from the house. You know, hashtag augmented sensuality. No, I mean really, that was the marketing campaign. Hashtag augmented sensuality. Paco Rabanne earns another spot on today's list and it comes from the champion himself. Yes, this one is Invictus. Marketed as a scent for winners, it's no wonder why Invictus won a spot on today's list. Invictus is an alluring, woody aquatic which embodies strength and masculinity. Invictus will win you some compliments, win the race in longevity, and will often win on price. Givenchy Gentleman is a more mature fragrance than those that we have discussed so far, and it's, well, one for the gentleman at heart. This presentation is Givenchy Gentleman after the reformulation. To me, this one's a go. I mean, this one really doesn't have any sweetness in it, so this one, again, varies from the others that we talked about. If you're looking to be taken seriously as a beginner, get this one in your collection. 
And finally, I have to place YSL Loam Ultime on today's list. Oftentimes, you'll find the original Loam, aka Lil Homie, on these lists, but at the moment, I feel that Loam Ultime is the better buy. I recently did a review on Ultime, so if you care to hear my personal thoughts and opinions on it, I'll leave it linked below. So those are 10 fragrances that I'm recommending to beginners at the moment, and please allow me to explain. I often find that those who are new to this world of collecting fragrances truly don't understand how expensive collecting fragrances can be. Therefore, I try to keep everything right around the $65 price point if you were shopping online, and here's why. From my personal experience, many non-frag heads expect to pay about $50 for a fragrance. And I would say if you're new to something, that's probably a comfortable starting point. And also from experience, I know that that extra $15, when you compare it to retail, is really a moot point. But here's where I had to put a few parameters in. Every fragrance on this list can be found in store. You can walk into a store, get your nose on it, and these won't be blind buys. You'll, while you're in the store, you'll see that, hey, these are a lot more expensive. <laughs> but you can also shop sites like foreverlux.com and find these things on sale. So that $65 price point now becomes a much better deal. And browsing around on the foreverlux.com site is exactly how you'll enter to win your $250 voucher to shop there. Site. I mean, it's super simple. Just visit foreverlux.com and browse through there over 180 different brands. Hit a few fragrance houses you like, see what they have available. All you need to do is grab a link to a fragrance that you like and just drop it down below here. One week from today, I'm going to randomly select a winner. So again, for your chance to win a $250 Shop the Site voucher on behalf of your boy, and foreverlux.com is really simple. Browse their site, grab a link to a fragrance that you like, drop it below. All you have to do is do that and of course be a subscriber of the channel and like this video and $250 have never been so easy. I'll leave the details linked below so get the browsing. But before you go don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again and hit the